Hi guys, this is Dr. Denny Warren with Generations Health and Wellness Center in Fayetteville, Arkansas. And I'm excited to share this information with you. Because for me, when I was going through learning more and more about physiology, and specifically more and more about neurology, there's a point in my education where I thought, if everybody understood how the brain is really the driving organ for health, for physiology, for function in our body, if we understand what it needs, what the brain absolutely needs in order to create a better, better health and better function throughout our entire body, then there's a point in my education where I thought every single person, if they understood the science, if they understood the neurology, if they understood the physiology, then there wouldn't be any question that they'd want to get checked by a chiropractor, every single member in their family, whether they're an elite athlete and they're wanting to perform better, or whether the stay-at-home mom just wants to be healthier and function better and keep their whole family healthier. Every single person should be checked by a chiropractor and be checked and taken care of on a regular basis from birth all the way to death. Because if you understand how movement and alignment of your spine drives proper neurology, it stimulates your brain so your brain functions better, then your brain can control the rest of your body better. And I thought if everybody knew that, they would understand that chiropractic is an important piece, it's an important piece to their overall health, to the holistic approach to keeping their body healthy. Yes, diet's important. Yes, exercise is important. Yes, our thoughts and our mental state and our social interaction and our connection with nature, all of those things are absolutely important. But if all of those things are good and your spine is, is rotting and degenerating, if your posture is failing, if you're losing good healthy posture, if all these things are happening, then you're not gonna be as healthy and as well as you could be. And if all of these things are happening, then your brain is not gonna be as healthy and it's not gonna be charged up with good healthy energy so that it can control the rest of your body as well as it could be. So as we go through this, I understand that there's some people out there, that some people are gonna watch this, that are not interested in learning the neurology, that are not interested in learning the actual research and understanding the research and the data that proves that this is such an important part to a healthy, holistic lifestyle. So I'm gonna give you the simplistic version, but I'm also gonna give you in depth, because I, I believe that my, our patients, my patients are, are very intelligent, they're very smart, and they want to know the details of how things work in your body. And I believe that because that's exactly the way I think and that's exactly the way I feel, is I want to know every single detail down to the neurological pathways, down to the cellular level, all of these things I wanted to know because I wanted to know that what I was giving, what I was giving to my patients as a service and what they were paying their hard earned money for is something that has extreme value. And as you understand what is going on in your body, you'll understand the extreme value of lifetime care for your entire family. So let me start by giving you the simplistic version. The simplistic version, for those of, those of you who do not want to get into the, the research, into the science, into the neurology and physiology, the simplistic definition or simplistic version of this is if your body, your spine, your posture is aligned properly, if you have good range of motion, everything's moving properly, then that movement and that alignment helps to drive and stimulate your brain. So a good way of thinking of it is like putting a charger, you put a charger on your battery, and you, as you charge up your battery, your brain is what coordinates the function of all of your organs. Your brain is what coordinates the, your balance and coordination. Your brain controls your whole physiology, your neuroendocrine system controls the physiology of your entire body. And the influence that the human spine has on the brain is like charging a battery. Now, due to different stresses in our lives, some of those could be we sit with poor posture, we're, you know, we're typing all day or texting, that damages your spine. We have tons of physical stress. Physical stress is on our posture, and physical stresses on our spine. We also have tons of chemical stresses as far as the bad food we eat, <clears throat> the air pollutants that we have in our, in our environment, the, the bad chemicals that are in our, in our houses that we live in. All of these chemicals can be in, get into your body and can wreak havoc on your physiology, wreak havoc on your nervous system, wreak havoc on your body. 
So there's physical stresses like uh, sports injuries, uh, sp poor posture, uh, motor vehicle accidents, there's chemical toxins, all the pollutants in the environment, the pollutants in our food, pollutants in our water systems, and there's emotional toxins. So when we have em negative emotions, negative thoughts, that causes muscle tension and tightness throughout the entire body. I tell you about those three different types of stresses, the chemical, physical, and emotional, because those three different types of stresses can cause your spine to get bound up where it's not moving properly. It can cause you to lose healthy posture and healthy alignment throughout your entire spine. If you lose motion and if you lose healthy alignment, you, from that area of your spine, that area of your body, you lose healthy stimulation that's going up and driving and charging your brain up. And if your brain is not charged up properly, your brain will not be able to control the rest of your body properly. That could mean you have poor coordination and poor balance in your movement of your body. You have poor movement patterns. That could mean that you have poor function and physiology with your hormones. That could mean you have poor function and physiology with your digestion, with all these different organs in your body. It can influence all of those things. And I'm gonna go through the PubMed research, the actual literature that proves exactly what I'm talking about. But that's the simplistic version. See, when people think of chiropractic, most people think of chiropractic as something for back pain, for neck pain, and for headaches. And I will tell you, the research is clear that for all of those things, chiropractic is phenomenal at helping with back pain, headaches, and neck pain. But I love this, this next slide here. <clears throat> this next slide says, using chiropractic, chiropractic care just for pain relief is like buying an iPhone just for the calculator. While yes, your iPhone can calculate everything you want, it can add, subtract, multiply, and divide, it can do all those functions, you're underutilizing your iPhone if you don't utilize it for everything else that it does. The same thing for chiropractic. While yes, chiropractic is phenomenal for helping people with neck pain, back pain, and headaches. In fact, that's how I became a patient in seventh grade. I had headaches and neck pain playing football and getting injured in football and playing with my older brothers. So I started chiropractic from a pain-based model and it was excellent to help me with my pain. I didn't have to take the the, the, the aspirin, the ibuprofen, the Tylenol, I didn't have to take all those over-the-counter medications, which I hated taking those things. They made me feel really weird, messed up, which those can really mess you up long-term if you're on those. So it helped me with the pain, but once I realized and understood, man, this is so much more than just pain. It's so much more than just treating my symptoms. It's more of a holistic lifestyle. Then it really started to change and transform my life. So here's some of the things I'm gonna go into detail with you in these videos. And they're gonna be broken down into different parts. That way you can take in bite-sized pieces, you can stop and start it. Because sometimes when we go through neurology, when you go through big words and, and, and learning new words that you haven't heard before, sometimes you need to pause it to let that digest and let you be able to absorb it. So this is where we start to get into some more detail. So the first thing in this first set here, this first video I'm gonna talk about is the role and purpose of the spine. We're gonna help you, I'm gonna help you understand how movement is essential for proper nerve function, proper brain function. The next section will be abnormal spinal mechanics, which is called a vertebral subluxation. The literature is clear, it's called a vertebral subluxation. That interferes with the central nervous system. And your central nervous system is your brain and your spinal cord. And if you have poor biomechanics, Poor motion that interferes with the, your brain and your spinal cord. We're going to talk about that. And the third thing is we're going to look at the chiropractic is proven by PubMed literature to improve musculoskeletal health, which a lot of people think of chiropractic as that, you know, back pain, neck pain, things like that, and also visceral physiology. Visceral physiology is looking at all of the different organs in your brain, all the different organs, how the adjustments in the healthy spine influence all of those things. And then lastly, we're also gonna look at how we exist and function in gravity environment plays a vital role in our health. We're gonna look at what the research is showing, very strong correlations as we 
lose our posture, if we lose alignment of our spine, lose good motion, how that affects everything in our body. So we'll look at that soon. So let's start on this first one here, the role and the purpose of the spine. Now, a lot of you guys have seen the, the, the model of the spine, and a lot of times we think of the spine as having several different purposes. One, we think of it as, it's this hard bone in which the spinal cord could fit right down inside of it. And so that hard bone protects the spinal cord. And yes, that is true. That is something that happens. It absolutely protects the spinal cord. So thank goodness we have that hard bone going all the way around the spinal cord to protect it. And that's part of the vertebral column, the spinal column. Now the other thing we think of is the spine, the bones, the disc, and all the tendons and muscles, everything around it, gives us, the spine gives us the structure so we can help maintain our posture. And while yes, that is true, understanding a little bit deeper what's going on with the spine and how that influences your brain and everything else, You'll, under, you'll, you'll appreciate the health of your spine, the health of your posture more. So let me talk to you about this. When you look at the spine, when you look at the nervous system, you have your brain up here, the spinal cord comes all the way down, and then you have all of these nerves that exit that go out to every single organ in your body, and these nerves also exit to go out to all the muscles, the joints, everywhere in your body, the nerves go throughout. Now. Your body is constantly communicating with your brain through all of these nerves. So what happens is your body, all of your organs, if, if your heart's beating, when your lungs are breathing, your stomach, your liver, kidneys, all these different organs, as they're functioning, they're sending feedback through the nerves up the spinal cord to your brain so that your brain understands everything that's going on in your body. Now you also have all these nerves that go out through your muscles and all of your muscles, as your muscles are moving, as they're just holding there in space, that's sending information up the nerve, up the spinal cord to your brain, that tells your brain where your body is in space because your brain needs to know where your body is in space in order to be able to control complex movement patterns in order to be able to control the physiology and function of all the organs. So your body is constantly being sent information to the brain, and then your brain receives that information. It's also receiving information from the environment, from all the stressors of your environment, and your brain then interprets all the information from the environment, all the information from your internal body, and then it sends information back down, out the nerves, and it can change your heart rate. It can increase your blood pressure. It can change your respiration, your digestion. It can change and control the muscles and the movement and the joints throughout your body. So there's this, this constant feedback loop. So your information goes up to your brain, your brain sends information back down, it controls the body. Now, I wanna give you a one, one word right here. This is a word that's, that comes up in neurology a lot. It's called mechanoreception mechanoreception. 